Hello everybody! Alright, so today we're going to be talking about uh, Fortnite. I have not played this game in pretty much since it came out, so it's been many years, so I know a lot's changed, but I wanted to do a video on it uh, based on quick building. Uh, obviously you can do a lot of other stuff, but this is kind of just an intro to that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code. Um, actually, before we do that, you do need to download Auto Hotkeys. It's a programming language, but it's very easy to learn. I'll include a video in the description below just showing you how to do the first download in your first script. Um, you'll just get it from this website, which I'll have a link for, and you just push download. It's super easy install, not much different than any other game or program you've ever installed before. But I'll make sure to include that in the description below along with that video on how to use your first script. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the code. I found multiple different versions of how to do this online. Don't really know the difference between them too much as far as like if one's more like geared towards a certain game type or not. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've played and that was on a console. But yeah, so we're going to use Z here. Uh, the reason why I'm using Z is when I'm in the game, um, Z is just kind of like the way I can build while I'm in the game. Uh, Z, as you can see right here next to me, is to build a wall. So I'm going to press Z. Uh, I'm going to actually continue to hold it. I found this to be a little bit better. I'm going to turn off that hotkey uh, just because I don't want it to keep trying to start this uh, script over and over and over again by hitting that hotkey there. Uh, it's going to send Z, which is going to automatically switch me into the build mode, targeting a building a wall. Uh, then it's going to sleep for uh, 10 milliseconds. That's just to give it a second for that wall to spawn within the game. Uh, you might have to play with this a little bit, depending on your game. You, know, you can go like 20 milliseconds. You don't have to go too high, though. Uh, it's going to send G, uh, which... You know, once again, your key bindings might be different than what I have. These are just kind of more the defaults, it seems. Uh, and that's just going to automatically switch you into edit mode. So obviously, you got to change this if you've, like, remapped your keys or anything. Uh, so while get state, Z is pressed right here. Um, that's just basically saying that I'm still holding Z. I want it to click down the left mouse uh, button there. So it's going to hold that down for me, so I don't even have to hold that down. And that's how you kind of like target the different uh, blocks within the wall to edit them out. Uh, once I release Z, meaning while Z is no longer pressed, it's then going to push G, which uh, just confirms my build. It's going to release that mouse button because I don't need it held down anymore. Uh, it's going to click, which confirms the build. Just the uh, left mouse button click. I'm going to go ahead and turn Z back on because, you know, I might want to use this again. So I need it back on in the script. And then it's going to send Q, which is just going to switch me back to, I guess it's like battle mode or whatever. Basically not building mode. That way I can build something really fast and just jump right back into the action uh, by only pressing a single key myself and having to do all the other keys for me. Uh, I just added down here F1 to exit app. That just exits the uh, the script for me. Uh, you can also go down to your little tray where your time is. Uh, there might be a little arrow you have to click, and you just click the green icon with an H on it, and you can push exit that way. Uh, I just like adding this because it's a lot faster and easier if I need a something goes wrong and I just want to real quick exit the script out. Now, we're going to show you this in action, but before I do that, two things. Definitely subscribe. Always throwing automation videos out there based on video games, or maybe your job. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, obviously you're watching this video, hit the subscribe button, please. That would be awesome. Uh, the second thing is a warning to you players. Uh, a lot of games, there's a few things you need to know. It does need to be in window, window mode for this to work. You may have to run your script as an admin for it to work. Uh, and you can also always get banned. Uh, so in that video I'm going to link below, uh, it does show you how to compile your first script uh, into an executable. That is definitely the way to go. It's harder to detect, but you never know. 
they could still uh, find you. Um, but as far as I've read online, it doesn't seem too bad. I haven't seen it get banned. I've been playing around with this for a little bit, and, you know, nothing's happened to me. But that's not to say that eventually they will. So, word of the caution there. All right, let's jump into the game here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run the script. Oh, where is the script? I'm just going to double-click that. It's going to run. All right, we should be good. So I'm just kind of in a uh, free world here. You can see I've been uh, kind of going a little crazy with testing because I haven't played this in a while, so I had to remember how to do stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, press and hold Z down. And it's going to go and uh, you basically hold Z down to build like really fast. Let me get out of here. Um, but you can also uh, go ahead and press Z. And as you see, it uh, took me into build mode here. Um, so, I might have to play a little bit with the timing a little bit better. Uh, you might have to, too, just because it depends on your uh, game. Alright. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Here we go. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and press C again. There we go. Why? Like I said, I, I, I won't play this very often. There it goes. Not sure what's going on there. So, as you see, I have my hand right here. But I can just put my hand down and kind of move my mouse around. And you see it's editing. I'm not holding the mouse button down. The program's doing it. The only thing I'm holding down is that Z key right now. So you obviously you do this a little faster. I'm just showing, slowing it down for you so you can see. And then I'm just going to release Z. And so put my hands up. And see it just it confirmed. It did the click. And it switched me back to you know carrying my pickaxe versus being in building mode. So I found a few different scripts. I'll link those all down there in case you want to see which one works the best for you. This was just the one I came up with. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, definitely uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, that way it can help other people out from anything you figure out or I figure out after this video. And definitely check out my other videos that have to do with gaming because they can definitely help uh, with other different types of scripts you can make with this. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.